My name is Glaziel, and first of all, we want to thank you, Dr. Bilbrick, for being patient and very helpful with everyone throughout this course. And now I'm going to introduce our case study, which is about a Canadian uh, company called BC Frozen Foods, based on processing foods. The case uh, will talk about how the company managed to undergo several changes due to uh, social and political influence. The primary challenge facing the company were increased local competition, uh, labor shortage, and weather. However, that's the reason the company started to rethink about diversifying the product line and enhance the market competitiveness. Uh, in the beginning, BC was focused on processing uh, fruits only, such as blueberries, strawberries, uh, but due to some uh, issues, the company felt forced to go toward another direction and started processing vegetables such as broccoli, brussels, sprouts, and cauliflower. Hello everyone, my name is Mariana and I will continue to talk about BC Frozen Food. So I will explain for you guys about the same challenge come from BC Food uh, has before. So uh, about the criteria you choose for explaining our study of the case. The, I will explain for you both the climate labor force and increasing the in domestic competition. So uh, the first one, uh, like here, the climate labor force. A few decades ago, few years ago, uh, for the company it's easier find the labor force because many people want to work in this kind of job, but now nowadays it's more difficult because many people don't work more harder like, like 10, uh, 10 or 20 years ago so even if the company give it for the people the workers for example more better salary or insurance or food they don't want to work more and hard and make it they self really exhausted. So, and uh, the second one, increasing domestic competition. Uh, actually, a few years ago, also, uh, they have a lot of companies, but the companies don't, don't they didn't process the, the food. They give it for the BC frozen food process, but now have a lot of competition between the companies because they start to process too. So for the BC frozen companies, both, uh, when I talk now for you guys, it's a big challenge for the, about the, the client labor force and increase the domestic competition. Hello, my name is Barkai. I will explain fluctuations in US Canadian exchange rate and uh, weather conditions. As you guess, Canada and US are having a uh, strong trade type and uh, Canadian dollar value has always been weaker than uh, US dollars. So this situation pushed the US uh, cons consumers uh, seek to maximize the value of uh, US dollar. And this situation affected Canadian commodities and the companies started to lose money. If we talk about the exchange range and regulations, uh, they play a significant role uh, in determining the demand for exported goods as well as uh, the firms uh, that import uh, raw materials. The evolution of the currency causes the export cheaper uh, and because the company makes a big portion of uh, its profit from foreign market customers, and uh, while they have a big uh, higher purchasing, the company can make uh, money easily. 
if we talk about the uh, weather conditions, uh, the weather conditions are not under control of the companies, and the companies uh, has to fix this problem inside the company. If uh, they have excessive wet conditions, it causes to uh, damage to crops and some diseases. And also, uh, if the products have prolonged dry, it causes to not have enough supply. The last topic that I need to explain you, uh, the labor force. Uh, the companies uh, sometimes want to increase the labor force and this situation can cause to uh, target ultimately reducing the profitability company. So that's all, everything. That Mom, in this part, I would like to explain how social media effect on BC frozen food company. First, Fizzy BC frozen food promotes products by website as well as traditional methods of marketing. The digital technology has introduced digital marketing where firms can use social media to reach their customers. The company is using repetitive tasks to curb label shortage problem. The de decision has to be clearly defined on the nature of challenge intent to be resolved. The best choice should resolve the final factors, internal factors, embarking on the external challenges. Hi guys, my name is Juliana and I will talk about the BC frozen food. I will sum up our case for you guys. So uh, the BC frozen food has a action plan because they had a lot of challenges they need a solution. So they were trying to find a solution for their problem. And the problem is because uh, the BC frozen food uh, sells fruits and vegetables. So they were getting some trouble because the season, because sometimes the weather is not okay to plant like fruits and vegetables and that kind of stuff. So they found out a solution and their recommendations, because they have some recommendations, uh, it's talking about uh, a website. Because they have a website, then the clients can find whatever they want, they can make order also. So the technology has been helped them a lot with that. So how you guys can, can see, uh, in the beginning, when they, they start their company, they are sell like only broccoli, tomatoes, so it was really, really a small company. But now, how you guys can see, they have a lot of kinds of food and also fruits. So, well, they are really good now, a good company, they are big. So, with all the recommendations, action plans, uh, the company, it's getting better and better.